थ्री लेयर्स प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस ये चीज को कभी मत भूलिए सो द फर्स्ट इज अ चाइल्ड हैज अ डिजायर फॉर अ टॉय एंड व्हेन दैट डिजायर इज डिनाइड बाय द लव्ड वन एस्पेशली मदर when something is denied especially in the age 0 to 5 so mostly your impulsive in a children we go back to the time 0 to 5 or 0 to 7 years where the child doesn't have a rational biche ko ye nahi pata hai कि माँ बाप के पास पैसे नहीं है आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दीज कॉन्सेप्ट जीरो टू फाइव इयर्स बच्चा हर डिजायर पे हर विश पे हर रिक्वायरमेंट पे रोएगा आई वॉन्ट दिस सो इट्स अ सिंपल डिजायर वेन दैट डिजायर इज नॉट मेट विथ और इफ दैट डिजायर इज डिनाइड हु बाय अ लव्ड वन और मदर स्पेशली द प्राइमरी केयर that time that inner child between 0 to 8 or 0 to 5 decides a belief or or a conclusion i will grow up and buy everything for myself that is an impulse what is an impulse so desire broken the person becomes impulsive impulsive what is impulse can someone tell me act first think later this is impulsive as the child starts growing up the child starts understanding the reason or even during that same period now let's say the mother from scenario 1 went on to giving a promise to the child i'll buy it later let's go for now when i promise and i don't give then or put condition you get first rank i will get you the bicycle or you behave nice you stay quiet i'll give you love let's see toy as love anything that you desire no you behave well i love you now when the child starts behaving well and doesn't bother the mother but now mother is even taking the child for granted every day leaving the child alone and even going out just because the child is not saying anything so now what will happen the deservability of the child hits the self esteem so it's no more a desire because child now has fulfilled the condition mama you what you told me i am now fulfilling it so i deserve it's my right so then the child asks rightfully so the child now 
not just concludes or decides or creates a belief the child now demands or deserves and he puts a condition you must give me so the moment when there is that must element that comes in you now become compulsive when you put a condition i must have it and what will then happen the child doesn't compromise so in the case of compulsiveness so when there are women who have lived all their life without money and when their husbands don't earn i will not compromise or all those women who have not got freedom in their early childhood when they get married i will not compromise so that stubbornness comes in from the second compulsive part so the loss of resource here for example happens lack of patience so if you give patience to this person the person will heal in the impulse what is missing patience so tell this person to hold on to money not go and splurge it right in the first 10 days of the month patience the more patience that they have the more solar chakra will heal anxiety will calm down are you clear everyone i'm going now in de in detail okay of this entire analogy please do not forget this if ne next time i ask and if you forget it my time is precious value that time and what we share now the second time is compulsively when you act on certain things that now what is compulsion it's a physiological discomfort when i don't get love when i don't get attention these are the children who then we start calling them attention deficit no it's also a kind of compulsion so when they don't get positive attention they become negative attention seeker see adhd is not a very big deal it's the mother who's messed up this child so here what is missing in the compulsion i will not compromise and this often happens 0 to 8 years when it keeps happening over and over again when it keeps happening over and over and over and over and over again now that part of you have become compulsive and in this compulsiveness deservability and self esteem gets hampered because because lack of trust is this clear everyone because i trusted my mother when she told me i will buy you a toy when you get good marks now i got good marks i deserve it you must get it for me i am now stubbornly telling you and the mother says i just faked it just because i wanted you to come on track when the mother breaks that promise 
the child takes it to the heart saying oh my god i will never be able to trust anybody so the moment i have money i will compulsively go and spend it otherwise mujhe neend nahi aayegi see compulsion is something where it affects your head even deeper mujhe pyar nahi mil raha so what will i become in a relationship i'll become clingy that's the compulsion which is happening to my attitude sunita ji is it making sense now i think because this part also i think you missed it yeah i missed it really yes yeah. because in psychology very loosely people say impulsive compulsive obsessive but they don't know the real meaning of how exactly an inner child can be healed in order to resolve then a therapist should know whether this is an impulse or a compulsion or an obsession that's what i'm explaining so in the first is lack of patience the moment you do inner children you will actually do first layer of eft the even though i am impatient even though you know i can't hold my impulse to go and buy things that will be the first layer and then suddenly the person will regress back to that time when i wanted a toy and my mother did not get it the moment you get that inner child sorted slowly gradually the person will start sorting their impulse stories is this clear this is how inner child is healed and this is where inner child healing can be done mega also will get her answer that if i do only symptomatic patients and lack of patience then eft for just that symptom i will be fine next day i'll be able to hold my impulse but then in spite of 2 3 4 rounds many sessions that i've done now there is something that is not happening right so it hits the deservability and self esteem that i don't deserve love i don't deserve attention i don't get it so the mental postulate that come up in your corrective therapy statements will tell you whether it's impulse or a compulsion how severe the need is and then the person while talking about love or unloved will start breaking down now you know that attention seeking how much am i craving that attention so when that boy blocked me i could not sleep for weeks now this is obviously obsession so let's come to the obsession part so denied the love promised but didn't give so trust was broken this is the compulsive part now coming to when i rightfully deserve and when they did not give it to me upar se the child obviously because child now says i fulfilled your condition so there is so what will they do they will feel helpless against the authority so what they will start doing is to control the behavior they will either become negative vindictive aggressive and tantrum children then that becomes attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or attention deficit disorder add adhd and if someone says add adhd cannot be treated without medications is rubbish nishi has now specialized into add adhd work working with children just by looking at their symptoms maybe what we will do in the coming months we will again spend two days on understanding children and dealing with children issues and healing it
now why are they feeling helpless in that helplessness when they start throwing tantrums the mother out of sheer frustration who's either a physical whose relationship any which way is not happening good and she has nothing to control she will beat the child so when there is physical or sexual or emotional abuse happens the moment abuse happens it now is sealed and shut in the body it's now gone deeper into the dna now that thing becomes my obsession so from that demand the child actually becomes anxiety and or panic case where all your generalized anxiety when we say gas generalized anxiety disorder with that helplessness which i'm unable to so here this mostly happens again as 0 to 14 when you know for a longer period the abuse persists when someone has gone through sexual abuse see someone went through just one or two episodes will not be obsessed obsessive please remember that one or two episodes is okay but when someone goes through a span of years from 3 years to 11 3 to 16 8 to 16 you know that repetitive abuse now lack of security here what they miss because that part is stuck in the past is this clear everyone sir this one lack of inner security once more see when someone beats them to this degree where because the mother didn't know any better response but to beat them so inner security which means i am not safe that feeling of safety and security goes away no these are the clients they my parents were sitting in next room and i was being abused by my maid or by my house help my cousin was doing this to my entire family was unaware of this that restlessness starts building into the body now there is a demand to be loved this can only be healed through love not with criticism not with punishment not with rejection or abandonment so these are the children who keep testing the environment also for that unconditional love 
and they when they don't get it they feel tremendously obsessive and feel lost and hence they shut down and then they do not wish to communicate with any that's the obsession to withdraw yes all the smiles get the answer now sometimes it is can i sorry yes anita ji sometimes it is small children it is very difficult to do, to do the therapy with the children but it is a matter of parental education yeah see with children you can do therapy but then you have to understand again the frequency and approach and tool that you are using that's why i said that it's a different domain when you work with children you have to be extremely sensitive to their needs extremely sensitive to what has happened to listen to them to go into their world and i always keep saying that behind an unhealed child there is an unhealed parent yeah. so you can never work alone with the child in order to heal the child you will have to engage their mother for sure they say oh the father is not coming no father is not needed me unless the father is abused then that's a separate story you will get this you sharing this with all of you on the group now just give me a second I shared it on the group now. This whole chart. Yes, Ashwin. Sir, for uh, like obsession, uh, so it is not one chakra, right? Like which has to be healed. Like it is like more than one, right? Or uh, how should I understand? chakra is the hijacking inner child which is stuck at a certain level from where the obsession the front and the back when we teach this in module 3 when we go so wherever there is severity of that so when that obsession or that insecurity that inner security missing where is it affecting me so is it affecting me at the sacral then it will be sexual if it is affecting me at solar then it will be physical or emotional if it is hitting me on heart or throat it's emotional so again in the front chakra there is the inner child and the back is the coping so you check where the blockage is and where that obsessor is there who is behaving like that and which is affecting my so karmic obsessors are there in front and those coping inner children are behind so you have to then rescue the victim like in module 3 we have a hijacking a script no rescue the victim or the chakra timeline then you do that okay and the, there is a fourth layer also to this whole understanding when you go a little beyond 
in the whiteboard let's come back From that demand, when it goes into the dread or deadly associations, is where then it is not just impulsive, compulsive. This is when I say obsessive. That's the obsessive. And now you have the fourth layer coming up. Just a minute. I'll take all these up a little bit. Now, when you go into this deathly or deadly associations where you actually see death or the breakdown is to that severity is here, which is called obsessively compulsive or compulsive Impulsively obsessive. When you say OCD or obsessively compulsive, whatever. Then this is often that that, that abuse resulted into the death of a person in a certain past life. This is only for those who know past life regression and who know hypnosis where death with Death occurred with abuse and last kind thought was a conclusion that led the soul to the light. At the time of death. Don't ask me these past life related questions here, okay? With a disclaimer, I've explained it. When a person dies with abuse, the conclusion will be, I am impure, I am raped, my body is not clean. Or the person was raped in a field where it was full of teacher, mark, uh, dying in fire or dying with something like, you know, torn clothes, blood everywhere. Those are the kind of phobic reactions. So hematophobia, or those kind of phobic reactions is what you are born with. So that's obsessively compulsive. You can't even think about it. You can't even have any idea about that stimulus. Anyone talking about that problem also will blow you up. That's the double dissociation phobia treatment that we will do it over a period of time, over and over again. 
and those who know past life regression will stay take the person into a past life yes mega Uh, sir, I know a person, uh, Ashita Chari, five year old. Exactly, he was compulsive. He was compulsive. compulsive. He was exactly the same thing. And I'm aware of it. I checked it out. I checked it out. But he was a child, hai, so I could guide him. So, what do I do in this time? Or do I have any awareness? Do I have any awareness? Do I have any awareness? सिर्फ लव देना चाहिए बिकॉज उस चाइल्ड को जिस चीज की कमी है जैसे मैंने कहा कि अगर ऑब्सेशन है या कंपल्शन है उसमें एक ही रिक्वायरमेंट है बच्चे की अनकंडीशनली मुझे प्यार करो प्यार से मुझे जो भी कहो कि मैं सब करूंगा अगर धुतकार के क्रिटिसिज्म से मार के पीट के या पनिशमेंट से कुछ बोलोगे तो आप मुझे हील नहीं कर पाओ सो इवन द पेरेंट्स हैव टू स्टार्ट डीलिंग यू कैन वर्क विद द पेरेंट्स टू बी पेशेंट विद द चाइल्ड टू बी uh you know more supportive to the child to facilitate and focus on the strength of the child rather than spotting the weakness and nagging about tell the parents to stop nagging but parents will not listen to you because again they will not take you as the authority number one it's your need to see the class, the child not suffer which means there is an inner child who suffered in the past needs to heal if a part of you is getting triggered so it's a simple thing that you have to work on yourself because there is a troubled inner child who went through a similar story is getting restless looking at that child that is the trigger now you get your answer yes sir i know actually my family members here so i feel I exactly hone bhi yeah, see they will not be open to listening to you that you are creating a bad uh, child oh mother road ke bare mein ab tum humko samjhaogi acha do courses kya kar liye tum humko aage gyan dogi वो वाला हिसाब होगा सो so, वही है घर की मुर्गी दाल बराबर पीपल नेवर टेक योर ओपिनियंस करेक्टली सो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड देन कंटिन्यू टू हील यस सुनीता जी एंड अबाउट वो सीरीज दैट लास्ट अराउंड 3 मंथ्स बैक आई हैड थ्री प्रेग्नेंट वुमन हु हैज डेवलप्ड ऑब्सेसिव कंपल्सिव डिसऑर्डर टाइप ऑफ थिंग आई एम क्यूरियस दैट why at the pregnancy period especially in the last trimester they suddenly developed a kind of uh, ocd and i find you know, very difficult to um, to deal with diagnose again it uh, will be either a time trigger or a structure trigger going in hypnotherapy sunita ji mm -hmm. that last trimester could be the time where they got tremendously anxious and that anxiety is causing them a certain chemical imbalance so it's now causing hormonal imbalance for the body and the cortisol levels are going up so even in that case what you need to work with is only uh, uh, eft onion peel and you have to work with the double dissociation you can't even take them into a past life you can 